on video. Exactly. So it's photos that'll go in the pros of course. Yeah. Wow, that's a yeah, it's quite a backdrop. Yeah, it's spectacular. How long has the drone been flying now? Um, so we've been up here for a little over an hour. We did um, several circuits down um, below the dam. Okay. So we did. We went down the river, came up the river. Nice. Came up to the um, top and hover over there. Went back down, and we did a bunch of circuits like that. And now John wanted to come on this side. So the flight time's holding up even with the altitude. Yeah, the flight times. We we've used like ten percent of the battery. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, even with the payload, it hasn't really affected the flight time very much. I'd say we still have fifty minutes of total flight time. Have you checked to see if you're actually getting any data on the data yep. logger? Yep, we're logging it right now. And we've also checked to make sure it actually um, detects CO2 changes. So there's a uh, right over there. Yeah. There's a little gas vent that's really close that we can physically walk to. Put it up right next to that. Got over 100 ppm rise. All right, nice. He's been getting sweet. We, we got stuff when we flew down the river versus coming up to the top and coming off to the side. Changed the amount of CO2 it was detecting. So even with the small amount that comes out here, it's still getting differences. That's wonderful. Have you tried, yeah, I guess you haven't flown both of them yet, is that possible either? We flew both together okay. at Johnson, but I think I um, killed the Raspberry Pi, okay. so we can't get data logging from the other one. All right, okay. We have it over there. Yeah. It's like, so we could fly both for posterity's sake, but that's all it would be. Does that mean you want to go like a droid all the way you think or well i fried it because i i think i plugged in the power um, cable in the wrong spot okay and i killed it i did i had it right the other day but then i had to take the raspberry i had to take it off to change some stuff and when i put it back on i think i plugged it into the wrong place and killed it because the power light comes on but the activity light doesn't and we can't ssh in okay I was wondering if the Odroid. <coughs> sorry, I was wondering if the Odroid is more robust than that kind of stuff. To that, yeah, possibly. I don't know. They both they both have GPIO, and that's where we're powering it right now is through okay. the GPIO. And uh, so I, I don't. But yeah, the Odroid could be more robust to that. I also know we could put a shield on the Odroid. Um,